Hello, hello. Uh, I'm just going to chat over this little time lapse I painted in Krita the other night. Uh, I started from a drawing in my sketchbook of the uh, fantastic red girl design from Stephen Chow's Monkey King movie on Netflix, which you should totally check out. He did uh, Shaolin Soccer uh, and all those all those crazy movies. Um, anyway, just giving your eyes something to do while I babble. Uh, I've never really talked about myself or my goals with this channel before. I kind of prefer to just show you information and tricks, uh, but, but from here on that'll change a little bit. Uh, so first things first, uh, Krita, or Krita, Krita, however, however you say it, uh, it's the program I've landed on for this channel moving forward. Um, so here's kind of what happened. Uh, I wanted to distance myself from Photoshop a little bit. Uh, I feel like if you want to learn Photoshop, it's, it's out there, right? There's like a million hours of Photoshop content. Uh, and, and me personally, I've been using Photoshop for over 20 years, and we just kind of need a little break. Photoshop and I. And besides that, Adobe doesn't really appear to be on the side of artists at the moment, right? Their decisions haven't really indicated they are with the products they're launching and their, the way they're launching them and the pay model and everything. Um, but either way, I, I wanted to switch painting apps regardless. Uh, and I tried everything. Uh, I came down to Clip Studio and Infinity Designer. They kind of ended up vying for the top spot. But it dawned on me that if I'm going to focus like half my content on Blender, which is obviously famously a totally free app. Why not switch to a free app for the painting processes too? Then if someone wants to learn all this production ready trickery and painting fundamentals, things like that, they can get in the door at like straight up zero dollars, right? And zero dollars is my, my personal favorite price point. So I, I like setting it up with dual free programs. I've used GIMP in the past, but I never really got on with it. So I picked up Krita, uh, which is kind of the other often cited free program. I spent a few days getting familiar, and it felt good. Uh, it still feels good. I've logged a significant chunk of lifespan in Krita since then, and it just has yet to let me down. I use it on multiple devices, including a an, an straight-up archaic Lenovo that's held together with duct tape, and my kid paints on it and everything. Krita just chugs along no problem, no driver issues, which is very important to me. And much like Clip Studio and Affinity Designer, it actually does some things better than Photoshop, right? So I'm kind of sold. Uh, it's, it has differences. It's not quite as robust in the layers department, but I actually prefer the brush engine and it just feels good to work in. It feels like it's made for, for painting. Uh, whereas Photoshop can sometimes feel like you're twisting its arm to allow you to paint, right? So I'll be refocusing my content on two PowerOS free apps, Blender and Krita. Uh, but what content, right? So I haven't put anything out in a couple of years because um, I've been just busy. I've been recording. I have like 20 plus hours of content. But what content, right? Um, well, my day job is actually teaching, uh, specifically teaching digital painting and environment design at the School of Visual Arts um, here in Manhattan, where I live. Uh, and I love my job. And all I want to do with my personal work is just like more of that. So uh, I will. Uh, from here on, this channel will just translate my curriculums from my classes directly into Krita and also Blender. Um, so my courses are, are dense, like two courses, 15 classes in each course, three hours per class, 20 students in each class. So I have a lot I want to show you, and I'm going to just churn through all of it. Pro probably take like a year, but I'm going to I'm going to get there. I'm going to be launching videos on what it means to sketch digitally, how to make and manage your brushes, painting digitally, color theory, perspective, style, reference, cheating, thumbnailing, etc etc lots of like artistic formulas lots of theory it'll all be for krita and eventually integrated with blender too at which point i'll switch to focus on concept art viz dev and entertainment design and there'll be other content along the way but that's that's going to be the focus and the driving set of content for the channel i'm going to be offering other avenues for individual lessons and things like that too uh more more on that later but i'm pretty excited about it i've been mentoring a lot this last year uh, both directly to students and then people out there in the, the big real world. I like it quite a bit. So I want to I want to keep focusing on that and bring it into the channel as well. So yeah, that's that's the gist. Uh, I switched to Krita and things are happening. So, you know, give me a subscribe if you want to keep up and you're interested in learning Krita and how that integrates with Blender. It's a pretty great program and I'm, I'm really excited to show you everything about it. Uh, drop any questions in the comments and I will see you soon.